So today I'm going to be watching another video that was requested by one of my viewers and it's just simply called Swedishness. Now I don't know what this is from, if it's from a TV show, from a comedian, what it is. So tell me what the origin of this video is. Doesn't tell me in the top here so I'm not, I've got no idea. And yeah, tell me if you've seen this before, tell me what you think about it. As always, interested to see it, really enjoying everything I've learned about Swedish comedy so far and looking forward to seeing some more. It seems that Sweden is indeed an unusual, even extreme, country. A typical Swede has a very ambivalent relationship to the church. And I will then pour the water on his head for the mm. father, the son... Maybe we can just uh, skip uh, that part. Yeah. If you just can skip to say the words, Holy Ghost Jesus and, and Jesus. That. Yeah, I mean, we don't really believe in that. So you want to go straight to the hymn then? Well, we were thinking about maybe you can play this song uh, Don't You Worry Child with Swedish House Mafia. <laughs> Swedish? I was just out in nowhere there. This is pretty good. So I guess this is like some sort of satire about Swedish life, about Swedishness, yeah, about Sweden as a country, Swedish mentality. Yeah, is that what you'd rather hear? Would you rather hear Swedish House Mafia than church hymns? I would anyway, definitely. I didn't expect this to be in English, that kind of threw me a little bit, the posh English accent. This is almost like, yeah, like some sort of parody documentary about Sweden, something like that. Swedish families enjoy the most generous childcare benefit programme in the world. Papa Lerdik, Vareldar Vashakring, Vabbing. And you know, just as the Eskimos have a hundred words for snow, so the Swedes have a hundred expressions for parental leave. Come on, Winchik, where are you? Norway has invaded Sweden. I see, I see, but why are you recording me? I'm on paternity leave. <laughs> What's interesting is the Swedes are an extremely equal people. There are no hierarchies here. The Swedes prefer a so-called flat organization. Can I attack on my command? Yes, Captain. That is if you feel like it. I mean, I don't have to decide everything all the time. <laughs> you want to make a decision? Oh, maybe it's Ingrid start. Okay. Ingrid, Ingrid, do you want to attack? you want to attack? I think we should have a group discussion about this. That's a good idea. We should bring in Lasse. Yes. Lasse, yes. do you want to attack? It doesn't matter who you are, the same rules apply to everyone. We have three main concerns to discuss Someone with you. Someone forgot to put this coffee cup in the dishwasher. Oh, it says Friedrich on it. Maybe it's yours, Friedrich. But the dishwasher was full. So you empty it. Your mother doesn't work here, Mr. Prime Minister. Okay, you have to excuse me. I, yeah. I must attend to this. Third time this week? <laughs> what if the Angela Merkel comes? Yeah. And then there are no... What Angela Merkel comes? Thank the, the, the combination of sexual liberation and the fear of conflict make the Swede hard to provoke. Look, my bike is messed up! Merde! I fucked your mother! Oh, really? Oh, that, that's, uh, that's so good for her. She hadn't had much of a sex life. First, I thought you were angry with me, and now you come with this wonderful message <laughs> anyways <laughs> that's very good i like how the angry guy was a french guy as well this is actually quite a cool satire i guess it's playing on like the swedish stereotypes and really ramping them up to 100 exaggerating them all i would love to see something like this for scotland as well we have a lot of stereotypes about being cheap about being aggressive about being drunk i'd love to see something in this style as well tell me if you relate to any of these stereotypes and yeah what you think about this so far in many ways the swedish people are extremely tolerant towards minorities now this becomes very relevant when you visit an ordinary football match <laughs> The, the Swedes are, are extremely independent and yet at the same time extremely tolerant. This odd combination leads to frustration. So where do the Swedes go to let out their aggressions? Well, abroad. In your countries. <laughs> extremely fascinating, isn't it? And yet we still only scratch the surface of this fascinating people. Yeah, I'd love to see more like that and see a, a, another part of that, see, learn more about Sweden through these like exaggerated stereotypes. The last one is very relatable for me being British. 
we cause a lot of problems. We are probably the country that causes most problems for other people in their own countries. The Brits going abroad to drink in other countries and get overly drunk. Actually, while we're talking about that, what do Swedish people think about British people, especially those who go to other countries? Do you think we're all like hooligans and beer drinkers and drink too much? But this one, this comedy, really enjoyable. I love the presentation of it, like a kind of documentary style, uh, exaggerating all those uh, Swedish stereotypes and humorous uh, visual comedy and just different ideas. So good satire again. Tell me what you think about this. Thanks.